Okay, this is over on the south side of the house, the west south side of the house, two condensing units of two different vintages. Our disconnects are not supposed to be behind the units. Our disconnects are supposed to be sealed on three sides, like our electric meter should have been sealed on three sides. We've got one unit that's listing here. It's not supposed to be more than two degrees different. You know, um, it's not supposed to be out of level more than two degrees. Coming along here, it looks like there's a little bit of hail damage on these fans. Our refrigerant piping is supposed to be a nice, solid, robust piping. And um, we're supposed to have anti-theft Schrader valve caps on this newer unit. Okay, we do have anti-theft Schrader valve caps, but we do not have the robust piping. We've got the old school piping. That, um, pipe insulation, excuse me. The old school insulation. We should have... We don't have that, that's what we should have had there, and there, we should have had that there. Uh, this one's the data plate, I've got a still image of this data plate, uh, that's attached to your, not baked into it, but it's attached, i got a, a separate file, these are the data plates, and if we read those data plates, what we'll learn is, just going left to right here, this, this crooked one, this older one, okay, well, he's, um, 2013 so he's about 10 years old he's R22 R22 is no longer manufactured in the United States that's the refrigerant that's inside of here the refrigerant that's in this piping is R22 no longer manufactured in the United States no longer imported in the United States generally considered to be obsolete obsolete uh, doesn't mean that I don't have it at my house because I do doesn't mean that it's not going to work for you it means that as stock diminishes the price of service increases okay and this has been obsolete for a long time so you want to kind of budget for that it's about 10 years old uh, about 11 years old actually so we are getting close to christmas so we're getting close to new years we're getting close to a new year it's a new year so yeah it's um about 11 years old doesn't fit on its foundation pad properly. Has R22 in it. Okay, and uh, this is another thing that I've noticed about this guy is that he's probably underfused. Most likely he's underfused. He's a three ton system, and um, the, we've got three circuit breakers in the electric service panel over there. And of those three circuit breakers, we've got two 30s and 160. So, and this takes a 40 amp breaker. This is a 5 ton system over here. It takes a 50 amp breaker. I'm assuming that the 60 amp breaker goes to this condensing unit and it is overfused. This one's underfused. Let's see, this 30 amps requires it underfused. This one's overfused. What does overfused and underfused mean? Well, it means that the circuit breaker is there to protect your, your equipment. So if it's underfused, it's going to trip prematurely, causing you a nuisance trip. It's going to trip when it should have been, you know, just rocking on along, happy in its own world, doing what it was designed to do, and it got a little hot, and because it was a really hot day, and it tripped when it didn't have to. I'm not saying that you're going to get a nuisance trip. I'm saying that's the repercussions of having a circuit breaker that's too small. The repercussions of having a circuit breaker that's too large, okay, that means it does not trip in a timely manner, so this would run under extended under extended conditions for an extended period of time, causing unnecessary damage to the system. So that's the, the repercussions of that. It caused damage to the system. Now, I was not able to open the dead front cover plates on these electric service disconnects, the ones that should have been sealed, the ones that are not supposed to be behind the systems. I did not open those because they're on way too tight. It's way too rusty. I just know those screws are going to break. So I just I don't, do no harm. Do no harm. So we're coming on along here on both of the systems. Oh, excuse me. I'm not through with this guy yet. Then I can go to the... This is 410A refrigerant. And like R22, it now has become obsolete. It's now... Um, they no longer manufacture it in the United States either. It's no longer legally imported in the United States either. And so that just lets us know right there that... Um, 
we want a budget for that. It's one year old. One year old. And it doesn't have a warrant. If you did not replace the coils and the coils aren't sized properly, you may not even have a warranty on this. If you have a warranty, you want to make sure. You want to get this thing serviced. You want it to go. Just like this has been obsolete for years, this is newly obsolete. There's a lot more 410A stockpiles than there is R22 stockpiles. 410A, the refrigerant that goes in the piping, 410A, isn't quite as expensive as R22. But it's going to get there. It's going to get there because that's, that's the way the system is. So now on our piping coming into here, I mean, it was fine, you know, 10 years ago, 11 years ago. Um, but since 2015... So I guess it, it wasn't right. It's 2015. Where? What date were you? 13. Yeah, you were you're, you're fine. But by today's energy codes, this insulation should be more robust. Okay, this insulation is the old school insulation. It should be more robust. And double whammy on this is because that's the vent. No, it's not. That's the new vent for your kitchen vent fan. Excuse me. So. Um, but that should be more robust. And this one has anti theft Schrader valve caps right there. This one wasn't required, but still, by today's standards, you should have anti theft valve Schrader valve caps on these as well. Schrader valve cap, what's that? It's your refrigerant piping service valve access port. So, there's that. This is the clothes dryer. Those dryers shouldn't be so close to your air conditioning systems. They're going to be running, and your clint is going to be coming out. It's going to be getting stuck all up in here. And speaking of which, that's pretty nasty, isn't it? Okay, well, I'm just I'm jumping around a little bit. I'm a jumper. What am I looking at here? Our conduit's kind of loose over here. Oh, uh, our clamp is broken. It doesn't work right. That's how you get electrocuted, bud. Get your hands off of that.